Right, let's take a look at the trail leaves by a slayer. So we're gonna start with this riff. Alright, and that will be the intro. Uh, quite simple, I hope. Uh, so we're gonna get the power chord followed by four unmuted. Uh, B, the seventh fret. Okay, so uh, that's sort of the main uh, idea here. Uh, riffing on on the power chord on B flat, B five power chord. Sorry. Okay, and then adding those other power chords even there. Okay, so uh, as you can see in the first line, you're gonna play the first four bars three times you no know, repeat them three times and the final time you're gonna play the first three bars and then skip to the last bar uh, which is just one line. okay so uh, notice noted that you're actually gonna play in with, with this kind of triplet feel so we got three notes per beat right da, 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 uh, okay <coughs> well uh, so that's the intro there. Um, the verse riff is the same as the intro, right? So I guess I played it once. Okay, and then you repeat it twice, all right? So on the next slide, we're gonna go and uh, do the chorus. Okay, so here the verse continues, and we're also gonna get the chorus stuff. So. Uh, uh, pretty much the same idea as before, uh, rhythmically speaking, so we could, but we're gonna have different chords now. So I'm gonna go and do the G power chord, and then A power chord, and then finally we land on B again. Okay, so that's the first time. Right, and uh, yeah, the second line, uh, you continue the riff. All right, uh, sorry I screwed up something there, uh, but basically that's the idea here. So uh, nothing too difficult here, I hope. Uh, so we're gonna go to the next slide. Okay, so here in this side we're gonna have uh, okay, and then uh, right when, when you reach this final chord here in the no just before the repeat mark, then you're gonna go back and play the verse riff again that we showed on the, the first side, and then you're gonna play the whole thing again you know, f f up till here. And then, once you get to uh, the third bar on your second repeat, so then instead of playing, you're gonna play this. All right. So the so this whole line, the second time you you reach this section would be. Alright, I hope it makes sense. So here on the next slide we're gonna have um, the little interlude. So and it's really a simple figure that you're gonna move you know, up and down the neck. So so uh, that's the kind of figure. So So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So it's like a major tryout that you will be and play on different different locations. So um, when I, I was looking for the different tabs for this song, of course, and the, a lot of tabs say that you should play like this. And. Uh, 
yeah, you know, you continue this pattern uh, 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 across the neck, along the neck. But you know, I, I listened to this song many times, and I, I don't think I can hear this, you know, third fret being played here. That one. Uh, uh, it sounds to me more that they kind of play f a fifth fret f uh, all the way here. It just uh, it almost sounds like they kind of mute the fifth fret, you know, on the very last uh, note in the pattern. Uh, yeah, but that's that's how. I think it's played anyway. If you want to play this uh, four, five, three pattern, then yeah, of course you can do that. I just don't think they actually play that. Okay, so if we go to the next side, we're gonna have uh, the continuation. Those first two bars there, you're gonna play them four times. And uh, yes, that's the easiest thing to do is just to you know put your uh, index finger across the seventh fret, and then you play seventh fret three times, and then that inverted power chord down there on seventh fret, D and three strings. Right. And then we can down pick everything, or we can alternate pick. Yeah, so I play that four times, and then we're gonna have this little uh, familiar pattern again, but it's gonna be played uh, much higher up here. So we're gonna have okay, and again here uh, many taps. If we go back to the first. Uh, in power of that pattern, a lot of taps will tell you to play, you know, and it on the eighth fret on D here. But again, I, I don't think I can hear that on the record. Uh, I think they play ten fret throughout there. But of course, I mean, it's, if you think if you think that the other taps are, are accurate, then you can play that, of course. Uh, I, I wouldn't be sad if you if you don't play my times. <laughs> okay, so the next slide, uh, we're gonna have the old riff again, right? That's the first slide, and then that riff kind of introduces the final riff. Um, well kind of the final riff, because we can play this riff, the second line, uh, uh, until the end of the song and you'll be fine, if you don't want to play the solo and uh, the interlude that follows there. So, the riff is, uh, so now the tempo is shifts up by the way, so we're gonna have... Sorry. Ah, wait a minute, wait a minute, sorry. <laughs> Again. Okay, so that's the riff, and as I said, you can play it all the way to the end of the song. Um, so basically, I mean, that's the same chord progression as we had before, more or less, uh, in many sections. Um, it's a very quick riff, so you gotta be, you know, very accurate with your right hand here. So play open power chords, and then you palm mute. Uh, the you know the sixteen notes here. So okay, like this. All right, and uh, by the way, when it comes to palm you know, when you play Slayer songs, they don't really. Many times they kind of play half palm muted, so uh, 
So the stream sounds kind of muted, but it's not entirely muted, you know, you know what I mean? So, so it's not, it's not like tight uh, pan muting that, for example, Metallica has. It's more like something like this. So, so you, you kind of rest your right hand a little lighter on the neck to get that effect of half pan muted strings. Um, okay. All right. So uh, here we're gonna have this little interlude. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Then you you, know, you continue to play at this for quite many times, twelve times. Or 12 bars in total. Um, so you can, you can either play that riff or you can play you know, the previous riff, right? That we showed before. Uh, and actually, the first four bars, I mean, you can hear it on the record, you, you have those chords for me instead. Of. Right? And those chords are exactly the same as you have in the riff. So, you know, it's very easy to figure out which chords you should play. And uh, I don't have them in the uh, tablet here, but uh, I mean, you should be able to figure them out from that uh, riff that you played before. And um, right after that interlude, we're gonna have guitar solos, and then you're gonna play again this riff. Uh, I'm gonna play it four times, and finally, finally on the final slide, uh, you're gonna have this ending with your little uh, interlude uh, riff. So uh, yeah, sorry if I screwed up something, here, but uh, I'm not really. I'm not that familiar with this riff. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so you can play this riff uh, twice, or you can play that uh, old riff. Uh, right, that riff. So, uh, and they finally end on B. Power chord that should slide down the neck. And that would be the end of the song, and uh, I hope you like this. Um, uh, it's kind of an Iron Maiden influenced uh, song, I think, heavily Iron Maiden influenced. It's like Iron Maiden on, uh, I don't know, on crack or something. But <laughs> anyway, I, I hope you enjoyed Cryonics, and uh, I hope I see you again.